AFib is becoming an epidemic. To the point, 10 million Americans are expected to have atrial fibrillation by 2030. AFib is an irregular and rapid heart rhythm. So in this video, I'm going to share with you what I learned about high intensity exercises uh, with AFib over 40. So there are three exercises you definitely want to avoid. Uh, the first one is HIIT cardio. I know HIIT cardio is a popular uh, exercise that people love to do because you're able to do short workouts and burn more fat. But the problem with HIIT cardio, it for folks that have AFib, uh, it challenges you in a way where it accelerates your heart very quickly. And if you're having an AFib event while you're doing HIIT cardio, uh, you could be putting yourself at risk. But I'm going to give you an alternative doing exercises when it comes to just low heart rate exercises, meaning that walking, uh, cycling, anything that helps lower your heart rate uh, during an exercise is going to be better than doing HIIT cardio. The second exercise that you want to avoid is lifting heavy. So some folks might, uh, might go to the gym three, four times a week and they're lifting heavy weight. Now, the problem with lifting heavy weight with having AFib, uh, it puts a lot of strain and stress on your heart. Uh, it also accelerates your heart very quickly. So as an alternative, instead of doing heavy weight, what I would recommend is doing lighter weight with more reps. You still get the benefits, uh, the health benefits when it comes to uh, exercising and working out. But again, you got to think about adjusting your lifestyle if you're having AFib. So again, avoid lifting heavy weights, and as an alternative, lift lighter weights with more reps. The third and final uh, exercise I would strongly tell you to avoid if you have AFib is just long, extensive workouts. And so a lot of times, sometimes when go, folks go to the gym, they may be in there one or two hours. What I would say to that is think about the time, the period of time under stress that you're putting your heart through. And so as an alternative to long and stiff workouts, just do short workouts, anywhere from 25 to 45 minutes. As I mentioned in the video earlier, you're still gonna get the same health benefits, but you're managing it in a way where you're thinking about your heart muscle, you're thinking about your heart rate, and also, again, you're still getting exercise. So as an alternative, consider short workouts. So a key point or key takeaway from this video, I would say remain active. Uh, having AFib doesn't mean it's the end of the world. Having AFib doesn't mean you can no longer be active. Remain active, but you have to be thoughtful about the type of exercises that you are doing, especially when it relates to your heart rate. In any exercise that can maintain a lower heart rate, I would say, in my opinion, in my experience of having AFib, is definitely an exercise you can do safely and it's something that I would encourage you to do daily. So if this video helped you in any way, uh, feel free to hit the like button. Also subscribe if you're new. Uh, that'll help YouTube spread the awareness about AFib and hopefully you're enjoying the rest of your day. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. See you soon.